In this video we will look at why and how we should repair the root tears of meniscus. The meniscus is the shock absorber of the knee. It is extremely important in protecting the joint against wear and tear. Each meniscus is attached to bone in the front and back and the attachment points are called roots. The posterior root tear of the medial meniscus is a devastating injury. It can cause knee pain, mechanical symptoms and especially night pain. It is common in females and occurs in middle and elderly. Eventually the meniscus is extruded from the joint making the knee vulnerable to tibial stress fracture and wear and tear. It is a serious injury that is often missed in MRI reports and neglecting these injuries can result in rapid deterioration of joint. The coronal sections of MRI can show discontinuity and signal changes in the posterior root. The extrusion of the meniscus can be identified in later stages. In the sagittal section's absence of meniscus near the PCL, the ghost sign indicates a posterior root tear of meniscus. Laboratory studies have shown that if you can successfully repair these root tears, we can restore the biomechanical functions of meniscus. The surgical technique involves passing strong sutures in the posterior horn of meniscus and bringing them out of bony tunnel in the tibia. The sutures are tied over a button on the tibia. The availability of the scorpion suture passing device has made the technique easier and reproducible. The case for illustration is a 47 years female with severe knee pain on her left knee. In younger patients it is important to take a full length standing x-rays to assess the alignment. In this patient we can the both the knees are in gross varus, suggesting the overloading of the inner, medial, compartment of knee. This is how the knee was looking arthroscopically with severe loss of femoral and tibial cartilage. The first step in root repair is emsal pie crusting, done percutaneously, from outside. This will open the medial compartment nicely to facilitate the passage of instruments. Here you can see the posterior root is torn few millimeters away from its insertion. The scorpion suture parcel loaded with number zero fiber wire is taken into the joint. It is used to pass the suture near the periphery of the medial meniscus posterior horn. The zero fiber wire is retrieved out and in its loop, a number two fiber wire is relayed through the meniscus. In a similar manner, two more fiber wires are placed in the adjacent areas of the periphery of the medial meniscus. The tunnel position is identified and marked. With a pointed aimer, guide wire is passed from the anteromedial tibia to the meniscus root attachment. A curette is used to denude the cartilage near the tunnel. After overdrilling with 4.5, we are using a 7 mm flip cutter through the tunnel to create a bed for meniscus healing. A burr is used to create a healing bed for the meniscus healing. After the preparation of bone bed, the corresponding pairs of sutures are taken near the tunnel opening and retrieved outside using a retriever. These sutures are tied over a slotted cortical button and under arthroscopic control. Because of the young age, and joint unloading procedure, high tibial osteotomy was also performed. The combined procedure gives additive benefits to the patient. If the scorpion device is not available, a shoulder suture passer like lasso can also be used. To pass a knit in all wire loop, which can then be used to relay number two fiber wire sutures. Osteotomy is not routinely offered for patients above 60, a simple root repair fixed to button and the repair is protected by an unloading knee brace. Rehabilitation is very important and patients should avoid bending the knee more than 80 degree initially and should avoid low seating positions for a very long time. Meniscus root repair is a rewarding procedure and is vital in joint preservation. It is important to suspect them clinically and confirm by MRI. Early repair can save the knee. Thank you very much for watching.